Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. Here comes our Coco Melon bus. Uh oh, but it doesn't look quite right. I think we need to help set it up. First, the bus needs some wheels. We have one, two, three, four wheels. To get the wheels on the bus, we'll need some axles. And they're in this bag. Here's one axle. And here's two. Here's axle number three. And here's four. We'll need to put the axle through the wheel and then we can get them on the bus. See, it looks really nice with the yellow axle and the black tire. Let's try putting it on the bus. Now let's try with the second wheel. We'll get it in the front over here. And now let's turn it over to the other side. We're gonna need one, two wheels on this side too. Let's put in the back wheel first. And then we can set up the front wheel. Now we have four wheels on the bus. Here's the handle, let's get this on the top. That goes right over here. We can decorate some more with our Coco Melon stickers. Let's put JJ and Tom Tom on the orange door. On the bottom half of the orange door, we can put the Melon Patch Academy sticker. This is JJ's school. We can open the orange school bus door and inside, we can put a sticker of Mommy and Daddy waving goodbye. And over here on the yellow part of the school bus, we can put a sticker of JJ, Tom Tom, and their pet dog Bingo. We'll add these red stickers over here so that the bus has lights. These lights are red so that the other cars on the road can see the school bus. On the bottom over here, we can add the Coco Melon TV. This way we know it's a Coco Melon school bus. And over here by the red lights, we can add another Coco Melon sticker. Let's turn over to this side. We can add more stickers over here. Oh look, it's Cody. Let's add him to the first window. And here's Cece. Let's add her to the second window. Here's Nina. Let's add her to the third window. And here's Bella. Let's add her to the fourth window. Now all the windows are complete. One, two, three, and four. Look, we have a caterpillar with the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we even have some numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Let's turn our school bus to the back. Wow, it's a spin dial. We can choose which song we want. The spin dial is blue. We just match it up to the red pointer. Let's add some red lights to the back. And we'll need some red lights to the top half of the back. Let's add some black trim to this part of the back. And let's add some more black trim on the bottom half. Almost done, let's add some more black trim to this side. Oh, and we don't want to forget our license plate. Great job, now our school bus is ready to play. Let's turn the bus on by pressing the green Coco Melon TV button. Hello, what's wrong with me? Look, here are some buttons. We have a red, orange, green, and blue button. Who's on the buttons? The red button has Mommy. The orange button has Daddy. The green button, there's Bingo. And the blue button is Kiki. Let's press the red button and see what happens. Hi, Mom. Now let's press the orange button. Hello, Dad. How about the green button? Let's press dog. And now the blue button. We have a whole bunch of numbers over here. The number one button is red. Let's press it. One. And here's number two. It's green. Two. The number three is purple. Three. Here's number four. It's blue. Four. Number five is orange. Five. Now here's number six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. And zero. Zero. Here we have some letter tokens. What letters do you see? Here's A. 
B C D E F G H I J K L M and we even have letters on the other side. Let's try putting the letters of the alphabet inside the bus. Here's one token. If we press the stop sign, what happens? It falls down to the purple door. Here it goes. Now how about the letter B? Let's put it inside the bus. B. B. Now let's press the stop sign and it falls right out. How about the letter C? Into the bus it goes. B. B. Let's press the stop sign to get it out. And let's try the letter D. Move to the back of the car and choose a song. How about this next song? Let's try this next song. And now this last song. job! If we turn the bus around, on the front we have the driver, Tom Tom, he's making a funny face, JJ, Mommy, and Daddy. And if we move the windshield wipers around, we hear wiper noises. How about this red button? It's the bus horn. If we switch to music mode, we can try these buttons all over again and get different songs. How about the daddy button? Let's try Bingo's green button. And how about Kiki's blue button? What happens if we press the number buttons on the music mode? Let's try number two. Stop learning your alphabets, numbers, and colors with our Cocoa Melon School Bus. Now the school bus is ready to go to Melon Patch Academy. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep.
Hey kids, today we're looking at some of our pop-up pal friends. We have one, two, three fun pop-up pals to look at. First, let's look at this cool school bus. Here on the back, we have all of our Cocomelon friends. The school bus is yellow. Yellow. Let's look in door number one. One is blue. Blue. And we have this fun blue switch that we can flip. Whoa, out popped JJ. JJ has the letter A. Here's the next one. It has the number two, and it's green. Green. This button we get to push. Let's see who comes out. It's Cody. Cody has the letter B. Next is the number three, and it's orange. Orange. And here is the orange button. We get to flip this up. Here we go. It's Tom Tom, JJ's brother. Tom Tom has the letter C. Here's number four. It's purple. Purple. And here is the dial. We need to turn this one. Whoa, who popped out? It's Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo has the letter D. Now let's try again, but faster. JJ. Cody. Tom Tom. Yo-Yo. The Coco Melon bus is going to school. Beep, beep. Next, let's look at these eggs. Here's one, two, three, four, five eggs. I wonder what's inside. Here's a red switch that we can flip and find out who's in the number one egg. Aw, oh, cute, it's a purple hippo. Now, let's press the blue button with the number two. It's a yellow panda. Now, let's turn this orange switch. It's a yellow lion with red fur. How about the number four switch? It has a fun star on it and it's yellow. Let's press it. It's a blue elephant. Who do you think is inside the number five egg? We have a purple switch. This one we have to pull. It's a little orange fox. Now our little jungle friends can go back into their eggs and we can pop them out faster. One, two, three, four, five. Now we get to try the last pop-up pal toy. Up top we have one, it's green, two, and it's yellow, three, is red, four, is blue. Now let's try these matching switches to see who pops out. It's an orange monkey. Let's press the yellow triangle for number two. It's a yellow lion. This lion's fur is called a mane and it's brown. Number three is red and let's press the red switch. It's a pink hippo. How about number four with the blue switch? We turn this one. Hey, it's a blue elephant. Let's try again, but faster. Green, monkey, yellow, lion, red, hippo, blue, elephant. Great job learning your colors and counting, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Oh, look, it's JJ. He's driving the Coco Melon bus. Here's JJ on the front. He's the driver. And look, on this side, we have all of JJ's friends. Here's Nina, Nico, Cody, and Cece. And here are all the colorful letters of the alphabet. And over here, we have numbers on the bottom. Here's the Coco Melon TV. Let's move it over. When we go over here, Nico has the sounds. And if we move it back, Nina has the letters. Let's try the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now let's move the Coco Melon TV over to Nico. He has the sounds. Nico helps us learn our alphabet phonics. He teaches us how each letter sounds. Now let's move the Cocomelon TV over to Cody. Cody says the words. Let's press A again. A, A is for apple. B, B is for ball. C, C is for cow. D, D is for dog. E, E is for elephant. Let's move the Coco Melon TV one more time over to Cece. She helps us learn the numbers. Let's press the green number one button. Let's count to one. Ready? One. Now if we press the number nine, we can hear all the numbers. Right, 
right, those are all the numbers. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And here's the number zero. What colors do we have? Here's letter A, it's red. B is blue. C is green. D is orange. And we start back with the color red. That's one, two, three, four colors. What's this we see here? Let's open it, it looks like a door. There's Bella and Mochi. Here's a little yellow bird. And on the bottom over here, we have Momo. Let's turn JJ's bus over to the other side. Over here, we have the stop sign and some more of our Coco Melon friends. Here's Pepe, Boba, Ello, Wally, and Kiki. Wow, neat! Look up top here. We have some shapes. Here's a blue diamond. And what's this one? Right, it's a red star. And this one over here. It's an orange circle. If we turn the bus back around to the front, we can press JJ for a song. whole alphabet with our Coco Melon friends. Great job learning your letters, sounds, words, and numbers with our Coco Melon friends. See you next time. Bye-bye everyone. Vroom, beep beep. Vroom, vroom. Oh, hi friends. We're at school today. Let's meet some of our school friends. Here's one, two, three, and four. This is a blue door with a blue button. Let's flip it over and see who pops out. It's JJ. Oh look, JJ has the letter A. A. Now let's try the green door with the green button. It has the number two on it. If we press the button, who will pop out? It's Cody. Cody has the letter B. B. Now let's move to the orange door with the number three on it. It has an orange switch that we flip off. It's Tom Tom, JJ's brother. Tom Tom has the letter C. C. And now here's the purple door with the number four. It has a purple switch that we turn. It's Yo Yo. Yo Yo has the letter D. D. Let's try our Coco Melon friends, but faster this time. JJ. Cody, Tom Tom, Yo Yo. Time for class to start now. Vroom, beep beep. Wow, look at all the colorful shapes and puzzles. That means we're learning about shapes today. And wow, look at all these colorful crayons. Can you help me find the right crayons to go in the right spot? Yeah, great job. First, let's look for the red crayon. Where do you see the red crayon? Right, here's the red crayon. Let's put it in the red spot. Red is spelled R-E-D, red. Now we're looking for the orange crayon. Where is the orange crayon? Is it here? Uh-oh, that's a purple crayon. Let's put this back and find the orange crayon. Oh, is it right here? Great job, we found the orange crayon. Let's put it right over here. Orange is spelled O-R-A-N-G-E. Orange. Now let's look for the yellow crayon. Do you see the yellow crayon anywhere? Great job, you found it. Here is the yellow crayon. Let's put it in the yellow crayon spot. Yellow is spelled Y-E-L-L. O, W, yellow. Now what's next? The green crayon. Where is the green crayon? You're right, 
You found the green crayon. Let's put the green crayon right over here. Green is spelled G R E E N. Green. Can you find the blue crayon? Blue crayon, blue crayon, where are you? Oh, there it is. Awesome. Now we can put the blue crayon right over here. Blue is spelled B L U E. Blue. Next, let's look for the purple crayon. Purple crayon, purple crayon, where are you? Is this the purple crayon? Uh-oh. Maybe it's this right here. Right. This is the purple crayon. Here you go, purple crayon. Purple is spelled P U R P L E. Purple. Now let's look for the black crayon. Where is the black crayon? Right here. Awesome. Let's put the black crayon right here. Black is spelled B L A C K. Black. And now finally, we have the white crayon. Where is the white crayon? Why, it's over here. Nice. Let's put the white crayon right over here. White is spelled W H I T E. White. You did so amazing. We completed all of our crayons. Now, can you help me find the shapes? We're looking for a purple circle. Where is the purple circle? Is this the purple circle? Uh oh. Maybe this is the purple circle. Right! Here it is. It's the purple circle. We can put it right over here. Now, let's look for the green rectangle. Where is the green rectangle? Awesome! Here it is. It's the green rectangle. Let's put it right in here. Now, let's look for the red heart. Right! You've seen this before. It's the red heart. Great job! Let's get it right in here. How about the blue diamond? Which one is the blue diamond? Can you see it? Nice! It's right here. This is the blue diamond. Let's put it right in here. And now for the yellow star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. You're right here. Great job! It's the yellow star. Let's put the yellow star right over here. And how about the white triangle? Right! It's over here. Let's get the white triangle in the correct spot. Can you find the black square? Right! Here it is. Here is the black square. Let's put it right in here. And finally, let's find the orange oval. Right, it's over here. We have the orange oval. Let's put it right over here. Awesome job learning about your shapes and colors with our Coco Melon friends. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Wow, look at all the Disney Cars trucks. Let's take a look at them. Here's the red truck. Who does the red truck hold? Let's open it up and find out. Why, it's Lightning McQueen. Only the fastest car around. Lightning McQueen is waiting for the race. Everyone will be racing for the Piston Cup. So let's have Lightning McQueen wait right over here. Next, it's the orange truck. This is the Sputter Stop team. It's number 92. Who's going to come out of here? It's Murray Clutchburn. He's competed in several Piston Cup Series races and he's ready to race again. Let's have Murray Clutchburn wait right over here by Lightning McQueen. Vroom. What do we have here? It's the yellow truck. This is the number 51 truck. Who's inside here? It's Cruz Ramirez. She also works in the Rusty's Racing Center. And now she's ready to race. Let's park Cruz Ramirez right over here. Next is the green truck. It's the Hostile Takeover Bank, number 86. Let's see who's inside. It's none other than Chick Hicks. 
He's a racer that likes cheating. And he even won the Piston Cup by cheating. Hopefully he doesn't cheat this race. Let's get him ready to join the other racers. Let's park Chick Hicks with the rest of the cars. Here's the light blue truck. It's the number 43. And it's the Dynaco truck. Let's see who's inside. Oh look, it's Strip Weathers, also known as the King. He's light blue and he has the number 43. The King has won more series races than any other car in history. Wow, that's amazing. It's going to be tough beating the King. Let's get the King ready for the race. Next is the blue truck. It's the number 51 and it has a very special racer inside. Let's bring him on out. It's the fabulous Hudson Hornet. He's a great teacher to Lightning McQueen and he's also won the Piston Cup several times. But now he's in retirement. But he's ready to come back for this race because it's a very special one. Let's get him ready with all the other racers. Now let's look at the purple truck. It's the Octane Gain Sponsor Team and it has the number 19. Who can we get out of here? It's Bobby Swift. He's a close friend of Lightning McQueen's. Let's get him ready for the race. Here we have the pink truck. It's the tank coat truck and it's the number 36. Let's find out who's inside. Hey look, it's Reb Meeker. Reb replaces Eugene Karbareski after he retired. So she's the new tank coat racer with the number 36. She's ready to compete in the Piston Cup race. So let's get her ready. Last truck is the black one. It has the number 20 and its sponsor is the Igniter Liquid Adrenaline. Who do you think it is? Let's bring him on out. It's Jackson Storm. He's Lightning McQueen's competitor and he's really fast. He's gonna make a tough race. Let's get our final truck and final racer ready for the big race. Our racers are all ready, but there's no racetrack to race on. Hey look, we can build them one with this awesome launch and loop raceway. This will have lots of parts, so I'll need your help setting it up. Whoa, look at that. Here's everything. Let's make it easy and dunk it all out. Whoa, those are a lot of pieces. Let's set it up together. We'll need this piece first. And these risers. These are the taller risers. Hey look, they have shapes right here to help us figure out which ones they are. The one with the heart shape can go over here. And the one with the hexagon shape can go over here. Next, let's take the shorter risers. These ones have different shapes. We have a star shape on this one and a triangle on this one. One goes on this orange ramp here. And another one goes on this gas station area. Next, here's the green piece with the circle in the center. We'll add the yellow slide ramp to it. This is going to need some screws. And we can find them in here. Here they are. We'll just add the slide ramp like this. And once we've got it on there, we'll need one, two screws. Here's one screw. And kids, you'll need the help of a grown-up for this one because we'll need a screwdriver to screw the screw in. Here's screw number two. And same like the other side, we'll use the screwdriver to screw it in. Great job. Now we'll add it to these two pieces. For this, we'll need one, two, three, four screws. Let's put one right over here. Now let's finish the top row with one over here. Then we can move on to the bottom row. We're on the bottom row here and we're gonna add the third screw over here. And next, we'll add the final fourth screw over here. Next, we'll add this green part to the piece with the taller risers. And this other side gets added to the piece with the shorter risers. This side also needs four screws. Here's one, two, three, and four. Now here's the last green panel, and it has the heart shape. We'll match it to the heart that's on the riser. This other part has a triangle, and we do the same. We match the triangle on the riser. And we'll need four screws for this as well. Two for the triangle side and two for the heart side. Now for the easy part, we'll click the center piece on top of the risers. Next, we'll add these two sidewalls. 
And here we can add the race car entry ramp. Now for the fun part, we can add our tracks. We have a green track. We can add this part right over here. This wraps around to the side where we can add the second track. Here's the third track. We can add it in front of racer number two. It wraps around to the side where we connect it to track number four. Track number four connects to this riser over here. Here's a cool looping piece we can add to the orange ramp. And now we can add this really cool long orange ramp. Let's pull it through the green ramp. And the bottom connects to the orange looping ramp. Now to finish off the top part, we connect the silver post to the orange parking port. Then we connect the silver post to the green track here and the orange track underneath the orange post. The side of the orange post connects to the blue race entry base. Now let's move on to the dark blue tracks. Let's take the one with the trap door and add it over here. We have two blue posts, one's shorter and one's longer. We'll add our shorter one over the fuel station. Now let's connect this dark blue ramp right above the fuel station. Here's a neat piece. We have a hole through the center of this dark blue ramp so that we could put this pole through. Then we can connect it to the dark blue ramp we put in place already. Here's one more dark blue track. Let's add it to the center base and connect it to the dark blue track with the hole in the center. One last piece is the taller light blue post. Let's add this part over here with the dark blue track and add it to the green track right above it. Very last piece is the red flapper. We'll add it to the light blue post. This can move around. Great job! Now our awesome launch and loop raceway is ready. Let's get our racers fueled up and ready for the big Piston Cup race. Here's Lightning McQueen. Let's get them all fueled up and ready. Awesome! Lightning McQueen can go up top here on the main launcher and wait for his competitor. Oh look, it's Jackson Storm. He wants to face Lightning McQueen for the Piston Cup. Jackson Storm has to fuel up. He's ready to go on the launcher ramp. Let's get him right up here and ready to face Lightning McQueen. They're ready to race. Let's add some red gumballs for Lightning McQueen for extra speed. We'll add one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we can have seven times the speed. Let's add blue gumballs for Jackson Storm. He has blue stripes on his body. Here's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven gumballs for Jackson Storm, just to be fair. Our racers are ready. Let's push the levers down and ready, set, go! Looks like Lightning McQueen was the winner. Jackson Storm went straight off the tracks. Let's throw them in for a loophole. When we lift the flapper up, the yellow slide track opens up. And when we launch them off the orange launcher, they go in for a loop. Let's try the orange launcher with Lightning McQueen. Now let's try Chick Hicks and Cruz Ramirez with the yellow flapper open. cars crashed into each other. This time we'll put the flapper down for our next racers. Next, it's the King versus Hudson Hornet. Whoever crosses the finish line is the winner. Oh no, the King got stuck and Hudson Hornet took the win. Let's try giving Chick Hicks and Cruz Ramirez another shot. Here we go. Chick Hicks took the win. Next is Murray Clutchburn and Reb Meeker's turn to race. Ready, set, go! And the win goes to Murray Clutchburn. There's four winners. Now they all have to face each other. We have the red Lightning McQueen, blue Hudson Hornet, green Chick Hicks, orange and blue Murray Clutchburn. Now it's time for Lightning McQueen to face his teacher and mentor, Hudson Hornet. Number 19, Bobby Swift will face the winner. Here we go, let's start the race. Oh, 
the win goes to Lightning McQueen. It was a good race, Hudson Hornet. Now it's time for Murray Clutchburn and Chick Hicks to face off. Wow, Murray Clutchburn took the win. Now it's time for Lightning McQueen and Murray Clutchburn to face off. The winner will face Bobby Swift. Here we go. And the winner is Lightning McQueen. Now it's time for our final racers, Bobby Swift and Lightning McQueen. Who will be the winner? The winner takes the Piston Cup. Let's go, one, two, three. Oh no, Bobby Swift flipped, but he took the win. All the racers performed their best, but the Piston Cup goes to Bobby Swift. Great job, Bobby. I hope you had fun learning colors and racing with our cars toys. Bye everyone.